Oh, this is uh, Liberty Mark 222. This is Mark again. Um, so they just announced, so Ram, Romney just announced that the vice president is going to be, uh, his candidate is uh, Paul Ryan, uh, white male. He was one of the guys at the the trilateral, the CFR, and uh, the Bilderbergs had vetted so, and they've been grooming him up for a long time. So, it didn't surprise me at all. Now, it was very interesting when uh, Romney introduced uh, Ryan. He says, and the next president of the United States, Paul Ryan. Which, to me, one thing about the these globalists, these... Uh, New World Order people is they don't really like somebody that messes up like that, says words that they're not supposed to. Unless he met you, I mean, I mean that's a pretty bad faux pas. I don't know what kind of Freudian slip that was. Um, how could you introduce your vice president uh, as the next president of the United States? That's pretty embarrassing. Um, and for that matter, I can't stand listening to Romney. I mean, the guy is the most boring speaker I've ever heard in my life. I, I, he has nothing original, nothing interesting to talk about. All he can say is, oh, we're going to cut uh, taxes and balance the budget, blah, blah, blah. Just, you know, the usual stupid lies that nobody believes and so I I would I think I'd rather vote for a uh, you know a dead pig than Romney and um, also does when you get Ryan he's like this economic uh, expert right well it makes it's kind of stupid because it makes uh, Romney look like, well, he, he really doesn't know how to handle his finances, so he needs this expert, this guy that's, what, 42, 43 years old. Supposedly, Romney's this expert in the finances, and so why would you stick a Ryan on your ticket? It, it, it looks really stupid. Um, I don't know. I... I'm like so uninterested in this presidential election. I, the, you know, all's we're all's we're seeing is this some, just uh, these puppets that these uh, globalists want us to uh, to vote on. Um, so I'm just saying, I I think that Obama's going to get reelected, and. From what I can tell, they're going to keep the economy going pretty steady. They don't want to have a big blow up. Uh, there might be a, they might have the October surprise and um, have the war in Iran. That's a that's a possibility. Um, don't know. I'm not sure they'll do that or not. I don't think they will. I mean, that's a pretty risky thing. Um, if Obama's doing pretty good in the polls, I mean, they, they, they're talking about how Romney's getting all this money from Goldman Sachs and from Wall Street. I don't, I, you know, I just don't believe it. I don't think that's going to be the big thing. Um, I, I look at Romney and I think this guy is not a speaker. He's just a boring, he, I mean... He's not a convincing liar. Um, Obama's a much better liar, and he's a lot much more likable person for some reason. I mean, you you see, you, you watch Obama, and you think you just kind of like the guy for some reason. He just seems like a nice guy, some somebody, somebody you kind of like to hang out with and talk to. But um, Romney just seems like this stuffed shirt that. Uh, he's trying to hide something all the time. 
obviously he didn't pay his taxes. He's got all this money over in these offshore accounts. It, and the guy just seems like really slimy and disgusting. So, I don't know. That's my take. Um, I'm going for Obama 2012. So, thanks. Bye.